I'm very thankful for the things that I have learned and to finally being able to have my own identity and the freedom that I was looking for. I am grateful for the opportunities that they were given to me and I'm thankful for my family that they give me all their support and for the people that I have met here. I put off riding horses for 25 years and I love horses, I love riding. And maybe if I'd been smarter, I would have started back up, you know, right after I finished all my training and done at least a little bit of it. And tennis. I played tennis in high school and I gave it up for 25 years. I didn't dance in high school, so I can't say I would have picked that back up, but maybe I would have started earlier. So I'm having fun now. And there were many years I didn't have a lot of fun. When I was in high school, I was not in the best shape to now I have only gotten stronger, I've gotten physically more fit, I've gotten happier, I've gotten healthier. That's something that I am grateful for. And I'm grateful to be comfortable in my own skin. I never would have thought to see myself, you know, I, it, was a, it was a major birthday this past September, <laughs> turning 65, and I say it and I don't really hear it. But I think, um, actually, again, back to the dancing, I think that's what has kept me youthful. It's the moving. It's keeping your body moving. And it keeps you socially interacting. Those two things, I think, are very, very important. So I am extremely grateful that I have that ability, still. I think what I'm thankful for is I, I started off my career working in computers, and, and I love that. And, um, but when I found dance, I think that that's something I'm very grateful for is, you know, of course the friends and stuff that um, I've created over the years. And now with teaching dance, getting to travel more and go around to different communities. And, and of course our local community here in Atlanta, which is so fantastic. Since the time I graduated high school, I am extremely thankful for my time I spent in Athens at the University of Georgia. Um, both my parents are alum as well, so it was great to continue on the tradition and thankful for living in Atlanta and living in a city that has so many opportunities and has such great diversity and is just a great place to have a life. Thankful for my husband, thankful for my family, thankful to be becoming a new mom. It's kind of a really new, exciting chapter in my life. Thankful for friendships and for a lot of really great life experiences. I'm grateful for the grounding I received um, growing up in a small community. We all felt the need to, um, to excel and, and to um, behave. And that uh, is immeasurable when it comes to being an adult on your own and learning how to get through things. I'm thankful and grateful, well, of course, for being able to um, find as a dance and um, being able to fully express myself. I'm grateful for being able to um, just really figure out uh, more of who I am and how I can contribute to the world. I'm grateful um, really just to be alive. It's just a blessing to be alive. I never thought, actually looking back in high school, that I would have been a mother. And then I'm also grateful that I have a very wonderful husband. Sometimes I don't think I appreciate him enough. I think he sometimes feels underappreciated, but honestly, he is my true partner. I'm grateful for all the experiences I have along the way. Traveled extensively. I have a great son and a husband. And it's been, it's been a very challenging year, and I'm grateful to be here. Since high school, I have a really, really large family. I came from a family of 11 children. It's a yours, mine, and ours family, but we're all very, very close. And I'm very, very thankful for the fact that I have a wonderful family, very, very supportive family. What I'm thankful for and what I'm grateful for, uh, great family, obviously, and uh, supportive family, wonderful children, um, and this whole dance community that uh, Antonio, Mario, Maxi, everybody has made it possible here. Um, it's a great experience. I'm grateful for the friends that become our family. I'm grateful because um, as you know, many of you know, I do have a chronic illness and that illness as I have gotten older has progressed um, 
I'm unable to drive at the moment. I need, you know, essentially people to assist me with basic tasks and have had to sort of find caregivers within my friends. And coming here, not really knowing many people, and then being able to have this supportive, wonderful community that we've all created ourselves has been, it's a blessing. The things that I'm most grateful for are my family. My, my mom and dad are, are still um, with me and healthy and active and I'm so blessed. They're 82 and 88 and my mom's going to be here tonight so she's probably going to be mad that I just told everybody how old she is but that's okay because she looks awesome. I truly know that not a day goes by for me when I don't have love and support and appreciation in my life from the people who matter most to me. My bunny, Rob, <laughs> and my family, my extended family, and then, you know, new and I guess what we can even call chosen families. Since high school, there have been so many things I've been thankful for. At every stage of my life, I was more thankful for. Growing up is great. The only thing that's not so great is as you get older, you have fewer years left. But I am thankful for so many things. To just count them would take all day. I'm very appreciative for my family. I have a very close, close family. I'm just grateful for everything. I'm just grateful for um, they are the experiences, the experiences that I had in my life. They have uh, mold me, change me, you know, <laughs> beat me, <laughs> bleed me, <laughs> you know, <laughs> crucified me. <laughs> but I'm, 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 I'm very grateful for having um, had those experiences because I realized that a lot of people don't have them.